Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. So we are back out on the hunt for bait. <laughs> I got to get that uh, issue resolved, not only just for these quickie runs for uh, grab a fish and go home type of thing, but even when I'm starting to go out to the reef and offshore, I want to have a reliable bait source in case I want to do live baiting. I can't spend hours, two hours trying to look for bait and then head out and waste that time. So I want to put some quality time in going forward, try to find some good spots. So that's what we're going to do today. And if I could find some bait, then we'll do a little bit of fishing. So that's the plan. So I'm going to be working this edge over here because I saw some bait over there last time, some mullet. And I think there are some sort of sardines, maybe cigar minnows. Um, I saw blue crabs there, so that was good. But uh, I'm going to check there. I'm going to probably check. That's super short. Uh, it's already exposed. But then there's another small island I'll check. So that's the only way to really do it is to just kind of put the time in and then it pays off in the long run. Oh, I want to go try the Atlantic side as well. So that's the plan. See, look at these are all glass minnows. Nice size one, make great chum. There's usually pilchards mixed in with these things. So I'm just looking for a little bit bigger bodies. But uh, yeah, this would make great chum size ones. I don't have my... Uh, glass minnow next i got that big hole from the shark and i still haven't finished fixing it but that's what we're looking for is any of these deep pockets along these edges will be full of bait look at all the tarpon oh get out there in front of them That's a treat. A whole bunch of little tarpon. Where'd they go? Oh, there they come. They're coming. Oh, they're swimming all around it. Oh, felt it hit my line. All those snappers are playing with them. Look at that. Where you find the bait, you're going to find these guys. They're just very wary. Oh, man, I need my glass minnow. Yeah, see there's pilchards mixed in there. Yeah, see those are pilchards. Nice. All I've got is my five foot net, which is not optimum. And those are small ones. Oh, 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 he ate it. Oh, he had it in his mouth. Oh, he looked at it. Look at these guys, it's like fishing in an aquarium. All this bait is kind of getting them excited. Oh. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Oh, nice. You're okay. Look at all these guys. Keep them calm, they'll stay there. Woohoo! Nice. Don't jump at me, don't jump at me. Oh, it's in my, my rudder. Oh. Oh, it's in my rudder. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 
You've got to be kidding me. Get out of there. Get. Oh, there we go. There we go. Are they still there? Yep, they're still there. Nice. He just destroyed that bait there. Stop it. He's being a jerk. There we go. Guess what we caught it on? The all about the bait. Minnow. Was it a shrimp or was it a minnow that got gotcha? you? All right. Let's let him loose. La 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 la. Tell your friends it was a good experience. There he goes. Oh, they were still rolling there, so. Yeah! All right, so that's on the original colored uh, Schmino there. Is it a shrimp or is it a minnow? Uh, I'm gonna try out the gold here, because that's what I got with me. Uh, basically, that's exactly, exactly what I had these created for, is the slowest presentation that I can get, toss it out there and just have it barely sink. Just like a natural shrimp, just kind of just glides. And that's exactly the reason why I built these and it just worked out so well. Uh, you can buy them yet, but I haven't released these yet. Uh, you can check them out on the site. But uh, I'm gonna do some more ch testing and videos about these when I get a chance. But let's see if we can catch another one. Gather Kuda. Let's see if we can entice them to take a bite. Oh, it took it. Oh, no, spit it. Oh, he wanted it. He nabbed it and let go. <laughs> tricky, tricky. Yeah, I just gripped down. Oh, he ate it. Oh, he ate it. Golly. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, he nosed it. Another one looking at it. <laughs> oh, man. I know the, the action's right. They're mouthing it, but then they, they don't get that shrimp flavor, and they're like, nope, this is not right. Here's another uh, bait setup that's perfect for this uh, circumstance. This is the four inch fluke. This is the brand new color of the electric chicken. <laughs> uh, but I've got it rigged wireless there. So uh, this one I could do a little bit different movement. It'll be more like an injured uh, minnow. I was hoping that I could see this one better. Oh, oh, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what it needs to be is that kind of suspended motion. It's almost like, oh, it's almost like a snook. Yeah, nice. Electric chicken. He beat that. Not exactly the most common color, but I think uh, the action is what sells it. I 
want to let you go. A little bit bigger one there. Oh, came off. Oh well. Now that's the electric chick in, doing its job. So basically what we're trying to do is match the hatch. These are all pilchards right there. Probably a little three inchers. This is a little four inchers. But it's got that kind of this thin profile. You can see how they're swimming. They're just kind of even kill. And then I'm basically looking to, to uh, mimic a injured one that's still swimming, but it's not staying with the pack. And then uh, these guys are whacking it. Oh, gulping. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, there it is. I'm looking at it. Let it go. Another one's looking at it. Another one's looking at it. Look at them, just following it. All of them. Come on, one brave soul. Hey, mangroves, knock it off. So even though they know I'm here, it's just their, uh, it's kicking off that instinct that, hey, got an injured one. Oh, he tried to eat it. Oh, oh. All right, there's a pocket of mullet right there. Those are good size ones. Super spooky though, and oh, they're moving off. No, they're staying in there. It's hard to get those. I've got the five foot net, which is good. I could throw distance, but they're just so spooked. I don't know what I can really do with those. Oh, they are right there. Try to figure out their pattern that they're swimming. Oh, there we go. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yep, I got one. At least one. Yep, there's one. Damn! That was nice. There's still four left. Don't jump out of there. Another one and I'd be happy. All right, we've moved on over to the seven mile bridge here. Uh, just set up in kind of these, a uh, little bit of a channel cutting through. Uh, current is a rip in. Uh, I believe it's full moon or around the full moon, so that multiplies the uh, amount of water flowing right now. Uh, I definitely wouldn't be out here if I didn't have my life jacket, my uh, quick release anchor system back there. So uh, we are a bit ready for it. Got the chum bag out. Uh, so let's see if we can pull a couple of quick snappers and get on out of here because it's making me nervous over here. There we go. Oh, I think I got shark. I think I got shark. Uh, maybe get him. Oh, got me into the bridge there. Oh, shock, shock, shock. All right, I think I found the snappers. We were here, then we went out there into the flats, and then we're back again. Uh, but there's a bunch of them chummed up here, so. Pretty sure I can catch one of these. There's some nice sized ones. Here we go. Finally a fish on. Whoa, stay out of the anchor. Is it gonna be a keeper though? Looks good. Looks good. 
Yeah, definitely that's a keeper. I had to go to a small number one hook. And yep, 13. Swallowed it. Get to keep the hook. And we get to keep our fish. There we go. So that was one for the box. Alright, I think we caught slack tide. Sun's going down or it's gone down. So I think I'm gonna call it. There's just nothing biting over here. So uh oh here we go. Ooh. Crap, 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 crap. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Oh! it I had him oh that was my big snapper oh. all righty I'm going ahead and calling it it ended up being like dead tide that kind of killed everything had something right there at the end but uh, bummers but uh, nice sunset so I'm gonna go ahead and call it got my couple tarp in I caught dinner so I'm happy so anyways let's go home and cook it up
All right, we're back, cleaned up, uh, dinner's ready, so time to eat. Uh, went with kind of a Cuban-Mexican fried fish dinner today. Uh, our 13-inch mango snapper, always perfect, because it fits in the, well, primarily fits in the pan. The bulk of it fits in the pan that I have, so that's why I got to keep it right around that size length there. Uh, just kind of dusted it with some uh, flour, salt, and pepper, and then just threw it in some hot oil. Uh, our sides for today, just some basic white rice with black beans, a little, little bit of salsa and some raw onions on top. Uh, got the chips and limes and uh, some uh, avocado there for uh, the freshness, our little salad. Uh, caldo de pollo, which is basically chicken soup. And then uh, instead of just plain uh, sweet plantains fried, uh, threw a little bit of uh, strawberries in there since they're in season. Gives a little bit of sour tartness to it. Plus with that honey really kicks up the sweetness on it. So that'll be for dessert. But uh, anyway, that's what's for dinner. Uh, very happy about seeing those uh, little juvenile tarpon around. I've been seeing a few schools here and there. Um, so they're starting to show up. Uh, it was a long dry spell where I didn't see hardly any of them for a long time. So it's good to see those. Those are kind of my bread and butter fun fishing during the spring and summertime. Uh, the big boy tarpon should be around. Haven't seen been seeing very much of them. Uh, there's some at the bridges, but uh, I'm not seeing them out in the flats or out in the channels where I want to target them. Uh, but they'll be there soon. Um, still need to work on my uh, bridge techniques a little bit. Um, finding bait's going to be the key part of it. Making sure I have the right cast net for it. Uh, not wasting time chasing after a little juvenile tarpon when I should be putting the time in catching bait. But uh, all I needed was that one 13-inch uh, mango, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Also very happy with the new baits I'm uh, going to be releasing soon. So you kind of got a sneak peek. They're on the website, so I'm selling them already. But uh, I've got my own custom-made shrimp there, the Schmino. Uh, also that 4-inch uh, fluke in the uh, electric chicken color. Oh, I just I didn't want to buy into that uh, electric chicken fad, or it's been around for a while, but... It's kind of like the pink and greens and blue and bubblegum colors and stuff. But uh, man, it's hard, hard to, to argue against one cast, one tarpon. But uh, so we'll, we'll have to keep testing that out. But uh, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.